Clean and lean living was the wave of the future that swept urban renewal into Eugene in the late 1960s. Downtown was old, vacant, run down. It represented a past Eugene had lost touch with and wanted to forget. Valley River Center Mall was coming and downtown was dying to keep up. Jackhammers and the Wrecking Ball took downtown to task. The goal, modern buildings, a consolidated business and shopping center. 117 old buildings came down. At the mall dedication, it was heralded as the rebirth of the city by Eugene's former mayor, Les Anderson. Therefore, it becomes a challenge for all of us to help in preserving a strong economic heartbeat for our commercial core. For as it prospers and develops, so shall we as a city have the resources to avoid some of the pitfalls that other cities have found themselves. The mall project won national recognition for its excellence, but to some current officials, urban renewal was like a plague of progress with no reverence for the past. Carol Daly chairs the historic review board. When we did urban renewal in this community, we ripped out the heart of the community. I think there um, evidently was uh, a real lack of appreciation in the uh, late 50s, early 60s of uh, what uh, our history and what our roots were and how important a role that may play in the quality of our life. Urban Renewal launched Archie Weinstein's political career on the board of county commissioners. Weinstein owned a successful surplus store on Willamette Street. It was part of the Eugene Opera House and High League Theater, built in 1903. It's the rape of Willamette Street, absolutely. That's a good word for it. They did, they destroyed it. Weinstein could care less about the historic nature of the old building. He wanted to save his business. Uh, but it did hold uh, many memories for Bernice Callison, for. Hallie Huntington, and Mary Wright, who is the niece of Eugene pioneer Cal Young. The old High League Theater meant more to me uh, because we used to put on... Um, there used to be road shows come through there, and then there were movies. And then I can remember some of our high school activities that we, uh, plays that we put on. The world-renowned Hult Center now stands where the High League used to be. Catherine Loris was one of the city council members who ushered in the urban renewal process. She says it took a different turn than she expected away from small business, but she says Eugene is better off because of urban renewal. Cities are like nomad camps and no, nothing about them is permanent. And I think anybody that stops here for a while thinks, oh, this is permanent. This is the way it was yesterday and today, and it's going to be this way tomorrow. What was lost in urban renewal? Perhaps nothing. We'll never know. But historians say it serves as a valuable warning that progress should be tempered by the past.